Hello guys and welcome back. On this video, I'm really excited to show you a brand new library called Synergy, a library that's designed specifically for Patchup 2. With Patchup 2, we received some amazing feedback from you guys and we decided to create this library as a thank you gift for your amazing response. So, this library was created using exclusively brand new samples and takes full advantage of both the grain and spectro oscillator synth engines. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to play some of those new sounds and I'm going to give you some inside information on how they were created and how you can use them. So, let's get started, let's have some fun. Synergy is a library that contains cinematic sounds, so you will be able to find sounds like drones, ambiences, textures, effects, stuff like this. But of course, it's very versatile. You will be able to find sounds like pianos, plucks, pads, or even leads, so you can use it in pretty much any music genre, from electronic music to pop and rock. So, let's dive into it. So first off, let me show you where you can find the actual library in Patchup. So all you need to do is click on the preset menu, and as you can see, you can find all the libraries right there. So it's a very good way if you want to find, for example, the Patchup 2 sounds, the brand new sounds for Patchup 2. But what we're looking right here is the Synergy library. So you click on that, and then you have all the sounds for the Synergy library right there in your media bay. Now, if you're using Cubase, there's another way to find these sounds. So you can go to Media, VST Instruments, and Patch Shop, and there you can find all the libraries that we have, and we can also find Synergy. We can click on that, and we can see all the sounds right there. So there are quite a few ways to load the sounds. If you're using Cubase and you prefer this way, it's very easy. You can have the icon there, click on it, and you can find all the presets. Now, let's move on to the sounds. Now, the first preset I want to play for you is called Magnus Choir, and that basically takes advantage of both engines. So, on layer A, we have the spectral oscillator, and on layer B, we have the grain oscillator, and they both contain the same sample, but they sound quite different. So let me show you. I can go and mix between the two layers right here. So I'm going to go in the middle first and I'm going to play the sound for you. Now what I like to do is I like to go here and right click on this slider between the two layers and add the modulation wheel. And I can enable it now and now I can morph between the two layers. So let me show you how this sounds. So now morph seamlessly between layer A and layer B. So let's go from B to A. So that shows you a little bit of what kind of variations you can get with the same exact sample just by using the two different engines, the spectral oscillator and the grain oscillator. Now let's move on to the next sound. Now the next sound is one of my favorites and in order to create it, I sampled a wine glass, just like that, just a wine glass, tap on it, and then I took the sample and used on the first instance, in the first layer, the grain oscillator, and on layer B, I used the spectral oscillator. And it sounds like this.
So as you can see, quite a few interesting things going on in there. Of course, the first one is uh, I'm going to just solo the grain oscillator and listen to what it does. gives you all these little elements that are very playful and added a lot of animation to the sound. And of course, if we go to the spectro oscillator part, we get a very, very different tone, very nice attack, really glassy sound. But playing with the purity, the mod wheel basically controls the purity. You can get a very, very rounded and sweet tone and really shave off that attack, make it a little bit more sweet. See how many variations you can get. Now let's add the grain oscillator again. So if you go all the way down, you get this really, really spiky kind of glass kind of sound. So this is the glass inflections preset, and that shows you what you can do just by using objects around your house and basically sample them, throw them into Patch Up 2, and you have something beautiful. Now, the next sound I want to play for you is called Strings of Tundra, and this sound I created by sampling an electric guitar unplugged, then dropped the sample into Pad Shop, and I used both the grain and spectra oscillators. So it sounds like this. So as you can tell, many things going on there, but one of the things that I would like to point out for this sound is this kind of bendy sound that you can hear. So when I play really, really high on velocities, you get this kind of bendy sound. This is not actually the sample. I actually used Envelope Free to create this sound. So Envelope Free is actually one of the hidden gems in Patch Up 2. It's very easy to overlook, but it's right here. So what I did on this one is I assigned, as you can see, Envelope Free here on my matrix. I assigned it to the pitch, and then I selected Velocity as my modifier, which means if I play softly, I don't get this bend. But if I play with higher velocities, I get this nice kind of bendy sound. And as you can see, the pitch follows this envelope right here, which can be really, really complex. You can create some really interesting things with it. So another thing that happens on this sound, as you can see, two layers, spectral oscillator and granular oscillator, but there are quite a few things. There's aftertouch that controls the spectral purity. We also have velocity that controls the cutoff. And of course, with our mod wheel, we control the LFO for our pitch. So with all these modulations, the sound becomes very dynamic. So you can go from very, very soft when you walk in. Let's also use the aftertouch.
So I like using the aftertouch on this sound because basically, because we're using the spectral oscillator and it controls the spectral purity, it makes the sound basically catch on fire. It's really nice. Let's move on to the next sound. Now, the next sound is called 80s film intro, and basically it was created by sampling a nice analog synthesizer. It's one of those sounds that you can just hit one key and it has a very interesting pattern straight away. So let me play it for you. Now, the way I built this sound, basically, it was again using both the spectral oscillator and the granular oscillator. Let me dissect this sound for you. Let me play layer A first. So layer A has this really, really lush pad sound. So even if you don't want to use the arpeggiator part, which is on part B, you can still use this as a pad. Now, if we move on to layer B, that's where we take advantage of this arpeggiator right here. And as you can see, not only it contains the nodes, but it also contains controller data that I've assigned to the cutoff. So we have a little bit of variation. Some of the nodes are a little bit darker. Some of them are a bit brighter. Now the next sound is called Brass of Doom. So again, this sound contains a spectral oscillator and also a second layer with a different sample with the spectral oscillator as well. So quite a few things are going on here. The mod wheel controls quite a lot of things like cutoff, it controls the spectral spread, it controls the detune, many, many things. So you can get this kind of really, really morphing sound. It's a very cinematic sound. So it's good for, you know, like scary moments, you know, dark moments. For the next sound, I want to show you something a little bit more serene and a little bit more calm. This is called Nostalgia Piano. It's a very dynamic sound, and again, it has two layers, one with a grain oscillator and one with the spectral oscillator. And of course, if you want, you can blend between them using the mod wheel like I showed you before. So let me show you how this sounds. I'm gonna start with layer B first.
So this sound, I think, is a great example to demonstrate how dynamic and expressive the sounds that you can create from patch up two can really become, even if you're using just one single sample. Right, the next sound is a fun one. It's called Gnomes Are Talking. So of course this sound comes from manipulating a vocal and of course it's again two layers so we can move between them very seamlessly. Now the next sound is called avant-garde electronica and this is a great example to show you how you can manipulate drums and drum loops using patch up too. It's not only for synth sounds and vocals, you can also drop some drums in there, some drum loops and completely mangle them beyond recognition. And that's what I did for this one. And you can see how unpredictable these sounds becomes by using the grain oscillator. And I promise you this was a very predictable drum loop. So let's see how it sounds. So if you're looking for some experimental electronica, patch up might be the instrument for you. Let's move on to the next sound. This is called malfunction in the sewer. So it's a nice drone sound and it sounds like this. Now the trick with this sound, if you are scoring for a horror film or if you're doing like a game, you're doing game music, try the aftertouch. It really brings tension to the sound. Basically the aftertouch triggers the LFO free frequency. So it sounds like this. so you can create some really unpredictable effects. Okay, let's move on to the next sound. This is called Pluck of Venus, and it's a very dynamic pluck sound. The next sound is called Air of Everest and it comes from a vocal sample.
right, now let's move on to another sound. This is called pulsing vox. <laughs> So the mode wheel on this sound controls the spectral format. So that's how you get all these kind of vowel sounds. And then if you play the notes out of phase, you get this kind of arpeggiator effect, but there's no arpeggiator right here. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really cool. That's what you can create with Patch Up 2 and the Spectre Oscillator without even having an arpeggiator on. It really morphs the sound and it really makes it sound animated. Great. Now the last sound I want to play for you today is called freeze the lead and it's a lead sound but on this sound we're taking advantage of the spectro oscillator and the ability to freeze the playback. So this sound will morph as you play but when you use the mode wheel you can actually freeze it or change the speed of the spectro oscillator. So it sounds really interesting, let me show you. So mode wheel all the way down, it morphs. Right, it goes up and down. Now, if I start playing with the mode wheel, check how many variations we can get out of this sound. So I can play one note, I can play my solo, then I can just stay on one note and then just play with the mode wheel, change the speed and freeze it and refreeze it and refreeze it and every time I get a very different timbre, I get a very different inflection, the sound sounds very alive. This is one of those things that you can't do with any other synthesizer. It's very specific to the spectral oscillator in Patch Up 2 and I think it sounds really, really organic. Check it out. This sound is impossible to recreate in any other synthesizer. So there you go guys, that was Synergy, our brand new free library for Patch Shop 2. Hope you enjoyed the sounds, please let us know in the comments down below which sound was your favorite and even if it was one of the sounds that I didn't play, we'd really like to know. So we hope you have tons of fun with the library, make some great music and we'll see you in the next one.